Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by VDG Sports. I'm your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter, very sincere. You can follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra VDG. Be sure to follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra VDG. Check out the website too. That is extra extra dot VDG sports dot com. Extra extra dot VDG sports dot com. And and if you want to keep up with me and my whereabouts, you probably should because this episode, this is sponsored by Vince Douglas Gregory dot com. Once again. Vince Douglas Gregory.com. And this is the second one. The first one did not go as planned. The first one did not go as planned because there was a few glitches in the matrix, a few technical difficulties that arose, and I just had to make do of what it was. I just had to make do, let's just say things did not go as planned. Things did not go right. Not at all. Not at all. Now that that is out of the way, now that all of that is out of the way and the excuses are gone with me and technology, but hey, hold that thought. I just got to give my shout outs now. Noobs, thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Thank you for giving me just a little, little bit of your time. I'm honored. I am truly and deeply honored. And hopefully I can pay that back. Hopefully I can pay it back. If not, you know what to do because you would do it anyway. And you don't need me to tell you what to do. Do you. Regs, we back at it again. Regs, we do what we do. Regs, this is almost daily. Regs, hey, we enjoy this. We enjoy this so, so much that we got this special bond, this unique, special, special bond that we have yet to come up with a word for, come up with a name for. We just say it is truly and deepy. Or deeply, not deep e, but that's a new word. That is a new word we just made up. Deeply. And hey, what can I say? What can I say? You come back, you show me the gratitude. You sh Hey, I don't want to get emotional here. I don't want to get caught up in my feelings. I do not. Anyway, now that thought that you've been holding, you can go ahead and release it. There's something about technology, I think that I'm up on the game. I think that my uh, leveling up when it comes to technology is where it needs to be. I am constantly trying to learn. I am constantly trying to figure out technology where it's a, it's a never ending process. It's a never ending process when it comes with me learning stuff and things, especially when it deals with technology because it's always improving. It's always getting better. It's always doing something. It's always building upon building upon building. So when you got a solid and strong foundation, it makes it easier. So one would think. So I would think. But as you can see, assuming you're watching from VDG or now, nah, assuming you're watching from VinceDouglasGregory.com, that one, you know what I have on. And for the rest who are uh, consuming this a different way, I have my watch on. And I have one of those Apple watches. Yay, Apple. Free promotion from me to you. Yay. Anyway, it makes it easy for me to track my own data it makes it easy for me to track my vitals it makes it easy for me to do a lot of things and i'm okay with that there's a give and take there's a give and take as well but there's one thing 
debt was extremely, extremely scary and difficult. I don't know which one is first. Maybe they both came at the same time, but I made a big faux pas. I made an error. Anyone who has a watch has done this before or come close to doing this or they don't wear their watch, period. So you fall in one of those categories or you know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody that did it. Either way, you fall in one of those categories. I tried to keep my uh, face, not my face, but the watch face clean and free of fingerprints and no, 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 no. I don't have a, a protector on it. I mean, it's a watch. Do I really need to put a protector on it to prevent me from touching it, from moving it around? And hey, you get it. I need to be able to touch the face to trigger different settings, different modes, or just acknowledging or ignoring. I need it functional. And by putting a covering on it, it makes it a little less functional for me. It may work for you. It doesn't work for me. Been there, done that, tried it. We can argue or discuss this at a later date. Right now, I'm trying to narrate. Right now, I'm trying to narrate. So I just suggest you take that noise somewhere else. We good. We good. It doesn't make it easy for me to touch and basically recognize my finger and my fingerprints and all that. So I don't have that on. So I try to keep the face clean because when a face isn't clean, it doesn't matter what I want the watch to do. It's going to do what it wants to do because there's dirt and debris and all kinds of smudges and fingerprints and oily substances that's on there that's making it more difficult for me to uh, get done what I need to get done, acknowledge what I need to acknowledge, dismiss what I need to dismiss, basically function like it should function. There was this one time, and this is fairly, fairly recent. I like to protect the guilty in the game. I like to give time I, let, I like to let time go by to let situations breathe. I like to let time go by to let situations breathe. But on this one, see some say something. See some say something. And I got to say something. I got to say something because it was terrifying and scary at the same time. It was terrifying and scary at the same time. I mean, you know when you know. And you will know. And noobs, don't worry. That's not coded language. That is just me being extremely direct. Because you know. Got it? Good. When you try to turn your watch off, you're, you're faced with three options. When you try to turn your watch off, you're faced with three options. At the very top, you can do the power off. The, 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 the middle... You can do the uh, medical records, medical ID, or what have you. And the very bottom, you can do the SS SOS or call 911. It's, it, it's one or the other, but it's definitely calling 911. Yeah. Me and my watch, me trying to turn my watch off, me trying to get my watch to do a certain thing because I'm half sleep. I'm half sleep. I don't need my watch on. I wanted to turn it off. I wanted to charge it. I want to put my other one on. Yeah, I know. Jokey jokes, ha ha. Jokey jokes, ha ha. I wanted to put my other one on, so I just wanted to turn this one off and let it be and let it rest. But hey, if you turn it off and put it on the charger, don't it turn right back on? Yeah, that ain't the point. That is not the point. The point is, I wanted to turn this watch off. The face had smudges and all kinds of debris on it. So my finger didn't register what I wanted it to register. My finger is at the very, 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 very top. It's at the very top. 
Why is it the very top? Is it the very top because I want to turn it off? Why do I want to turn it off? Because I just want it off. I don't want to charge it anymore. I just want it off. It doesn't really need to be charged. It just needs to be off because I want to put the other one on. Well, me being half asleep and trying to uh, turn this watch off and not really focusing or not being super duper aware that the face needs cleaning. The face needs cleaning because my finger's not going to register. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to do what it wants to do and it's going to be out of my control, out of my hands, doing something, maybe putting me in danger, maybe, hey, 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 okay, okay, okay. I got to slow this down. I got to slow this down. I wanted to turn the watch off. My finger is at the very top. I'm trying to slide it over to turn it off. And when I touch the top, something else on the screen register. So I'm halfway looking, halfway awake, eyes squinting. I'm like, uh, I don't think that's it. So I try again. It's like, no, uh, I don't think that's it. I try for the third and final time. And I'm like, you know what? YOLO, baby. And nobody says YOLO anymore. So right then and there should have been the indication that something was afoot. Something was some, some, something, something terrible was about to go down. Something bad was about to happen. I go ahead and swipe anyway. And as I'm about to complete the swipe, I notice I'm not getting the apple. I notice that I'm not about to take a bite of the apple. I'm getting the call 911. I'm getting the call 911. So immediately, immediately, my intuition, my gut feelings, my anticipation game is taking over. My brain is telling me to go ahead and try to turn the watch off, period, in the story. No, 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 no. Intuition, gut feeling, anticipation game was like, pump your brakes, Vince. Slow down. We got this. We got this. You done already. You done already messed up. We got this. We seriously got this. You need to, you need to just let us do what we do best. And let's keep you out of trouble. And let's keep you out of trouble and make thing make sure things go accordingly. Make thing make sure things go as planned. When it's unplanned, of course. So intuition and gut feeling was like, let it call. Let it call. Let it ring and just be the truth teller that you are. Let it call. Let it ring. Let you be the truth teller that you are. Go ahead and your true colors shining through. Angelic bird-like voice. That's what my anticipation game was telling me. That's what my intuition was telling me. All my gut feelings was telling me. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen because I'm already in a heap of trouble. Before, immediately answered, and the dispatcher said, 911, what's your emergency? It's like, I'm sorry, my watch called by mistake. Please, my watch called by mistake. I'm sorry, please. That's what came out. That was what me being honest, me being truthful, me letting my true colors shine through. Angelic, bird-like voice. That's what I said. I said that, and then everything just dropped out and went dead. Now my brain is kicking in. My my my, my processes is kicking in. My 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 thoughts. It's just starting to just go into overdrive. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't get any acknowledgement. I didn't get a okay. I didn't get a blah, 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 blah. And so now my brain is trying to freak me out. My brain is trying to just make me just wired. But my, anticip my anticipation game, my intuition, my gut feeling was like, you did the right thing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Long story short. Long story short. What was said or what I said was heard and processed 
And instead of just acknowledging and instead of just holding a conversation that need that didn't need to be a conversation, the dispatcher did the right thing and just went ahead and ended the call because somebody else who needs the number, somebody else who maybe was in trouble, somebody else who needed the number more than I did at the current time, possibly. And I didn't want to take up any more of the attention. I didn't want the attention to begin with. And now ending the call ASAP as soon as possible was the correct and right thing to do. So my brain thinking that, hey, there should be some kind of acknowledgement. No brain. No, you're already in the wrong. You're already in the wrong. There, this conversation does not need to be any longer. What was said, what was said, bam, bam, end the story, end game, over with. And allow the dispatcher to go and do what they need to do is help other people that need help actually. Brain finally came around to that after, I don't know, five, six hours later when no one showed up at my door knocking and saying, we got a call, we got a 911 call from this address. So after that five, six hours later, my brain finally got on the same page as my intuition. My brain finally got on the same page as my gut feeling and my brain was able to relax and be cool. And you know what, the entire time, my intuition, my gut feelings, my anticipation game was like, you're gonna learn one day to trust us. You're going to learn one day to trust us. But when that's the case, hey, you'll be at ease. You'll be at rest. But don't do that. Continue to be you. And we're going to do us. We're going to help Vince. And we're going to get him out of trouble when unplanned things occur or when spontaneous things happen or when he just needs us to process all this information without you because you tend to overthink it. You tend to, you know, muck things up. Yeah. Once again, intuition, gut feelings, anticipation game. Thank you. Brain, logic, processes. Hey, you're going to have to, uh, you got to come up with a new system. You got to come up with a new process. You got to come up with something better than before, possibly an upgrade, probably uh, add up, I don't know. It's, it's, it's for you to think about and it's for me to, it's for me to follow through on. It's for you to think about and it's for me to follow through on. See, technology, it improves year after year after year after year. Don't let, don't fall, don't let yourself fall into being obsolete. Uh-uh, keep learning. Keep learning.